Hey guys and girls, my name's The Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. We are going to be taking a look at naval action. Now, I bought this many, many moons ago. It was not long after I first built one of my, well, in fact, my very first PC. Uh, and I bought this. This was back in 2017 when I made my first PC. I'd only got about eight and a half hours in. Obviously, there's been a hell of a lot of updates and changes and stuff like that since I last played it so I thought we'd give it a shot see what happens see if it's worth playing again and yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy the the journey because I am a complete and utter novice at this this will be a massive learning curve uh, for me and hopefully you'll get some entertainment out of it uh, and I'll just take it as it is. So what we'll do is we'll set up and okay, I've been having a quick look at some bits and bobs. I think the best thing to do is tutorials. So we've got four tutorials there. I see there's exams as well. And then you've got finals. Wow. So let's I don't know why it's starting with gunnery, but let's start with gunnery. Got no other options. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we're in the tutorial. Uh, so let's see, it's wanting us to look from the port side of the ship towards the starboard. So left to right. So let's see, there's port. To starboard. And then look from starboard to port. Simple enough. Even I could do it. Uh, look from the stern, the back, to the bow. Look from the bow to the back. Press and hold left shift to use a spyglass. Okay, so left shift. That's so you can release the mouse by holding control. Alright, okay. Okay, press left control to enable mouse and click OK button in the tips. Right click the port side to enter firing mode. Oh yeah, okay. Aim fire sector at the letter E by moving the mouse. Aim fire sector to B. The enemy ship. Press space to fire a tracking shot. Hit target ship five times with tracking shot. Does it matter where I hit it? I suppose as long as I hit it. Oh, missed. Missed again. Ah, right, so it's a white line showing which gun's shooting us. Oh, maybe. 
Oh ne, okay. I was trying to hit for the water line sort of thing. Right, hit target ship ten times with the broadside. Left click to fire all guns at the same time. Seven there. Right, let's see, you can also determine direction of the broadside by looking at the narrow sector drawn on the water from the gun where the broadside will start. Right. Change the direction of the broadside by clicking the V button until it shows firing from bow. Shoot the broadside. Alright, firing from bow. Change the direction by pressing V until it says from stern. Use track and shot by space. If you need to adjust your aim if necessary, aim at the hull and destroy enemy planking and structure. to another broadside oh sugar okay so we've got to shoot the stern so let's see right click we'll change the sector mode to converge to 100 there's 100 Aim at the stern and destroy the back armor. Right, okay. So press one, three, two, and three. Inflict 30 casualties on the enemy ship by shooting at the stern. Switch to the other broadside. Right, here we go. Load chain ammo by pressing 1 and 2. And then 2 and 3. 2 and 2 even. Converge sector mode to converge to 50. Okay. Demast enemy ship by hitting lower mass sections with tracking shot. Use tracking shot by using space for more accurate fire. Damage to the mass is better dealt from close distance. Nice and easy. Oh, it's going off school with now. Don't 
totally missed. I've absolutely no idea if I'm actually hitting that or not. Right, I'm presuming on the top right hand side there, we've got little bars. Obviously, that's the enemy ship. I'm thinking that bar at the end there, it's probably hard for you to tell. I'll see if I can highlight it somehow. Uh, I think that's the rear mast, and then I think that's the front mast. I could be wrong. That's what it seems like. I think the tutorial could be a little bit clearer. Maybe, maybe give you some tips on how to actually hit a target. What I'll do is I'll keep practicing and see how I get on and then I'll get back once we're close to finishing. Right, okay, so I managed to get one done. I just need to get the other one. So let's see if we can do this. I've got a slightly better understanding of it. Uh, we'll see what happens. It just goes all over the shop. Aha! Totally wide. Let's just move, wait it. Let's just settle it again, Let's see if that helps. I think we've got a hit. This is quite frustrating, I must admit. Right, okay, so we've got the the mast off the bow.
Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh my word. That took way longer than I would delight. <laughs> okay, so we've got the, the gunnery tutorial done. Thank goodness. Right, let's have a shot at the, uh, what is it, the sailing, sailing tutorial. Now, I really thought the sailing one would have been at the beginning, but here we are. Hey, let's see, you don't need to hold W, just click it several times, which will give your crew the command to set full sails. Press W several times. Okay. All right, okay. There we go. Right, turn your ship 25 degrees to the right by pressing D for 5 seconds. 25 degrees. Right, turn your ship 25 degrees to the left by pressing A for 5 seconds. Okay. Look at your rudder, or lock your rudder fully to the right by quickly double clicking B for 30 degrees. Set your rudder to neutral by clicking A. Lock your rudder fully to the left by A. Did I make a mess of that? Try that again. D once, right, okay. Stop in the objective circle. Press S several times to stop. It's on stop. Go on, stop. Right, okay, there we go. All stop. That seemed off -y. Awfully quick and easy. <laughs> Special manoeuvres, oh my word. The video's probably a little bit longer than I would like, but maybe with the power of editing, I'll be able to cut it down a little bit. Right, so let's see. Press W several times to set sails. They're fully open. Right, so they're on full. So I take it, it just depends on the crew skills and everything and how quick the sails go up. 
I presume. Wait for the ship to reach eight knots. Okay, so we hit eight knots. To turn front yards to max right position. I see. Oh, all right, okay. SF once. Right, okay. I'm not sure if I fully understand that, but okay. Press Q to turn front yard to max left. Zoom F will go back to auto when we're ready. All right, I didn't hold the button. SF, now put it to neutral. Press C to turn backyards to max left position. See, to turn the backyards right position. SF once, and it centers it all. Double click E to turn front yards. Double cut. All right, okay. So let's see. Turn, turn right and reach the objective circle. Only using yards. Helps if I turn it in the right direction, eh? Ah, right, okay. Basically turning the ship. Ah, see, I see. I think. Now, once we get in the circle, I presume we're going to hit F.
Yep. Stop the ship. Oh, I'll stop. Oh, come on. Ah, right, the circle. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheesy peeps. Trying that again. It wouldn't let me use a rudder. They want the graphics look really good for the, the game, that is for sure. Can the reflections on the ocean? The ocean itself looks pretty decent. The ships look good. Pretty well detailed. always found the complexity of the game sort of put me off a little bit but I think uh, I'm certainly going to try and make a go of it and see how it goes and hopefully you guys will follow along in the little journey I suppose it's almost going to be either a zero to hero or rags to riches or something like that just learning the ropes, as it were. Right, so I've put them to stop. Hopefully they'll stop in this circle now. Certainly nothing happens fast, which is a good thing. But it's a good thing, nothing happens too fast. Finally, managed to stop. Almost, we're still showing 1.5 knots. There we go. Let's see, the wind is now back. Uh, now blown from the right side of the ship, not from the back anymore. Press W several times to set sails to fully open and wait for the ship to reach 8 knots. I suppose a good thing with the sail's not reacting that quick as if you do go a little bit too quick. It lets you adjust it before anything actually happens. Right, let's see. Turn the 
front yards and the back yards to position them parallel to the wind by using QEZC position the yards and the wind are shown in the compass right so I suppose yeah Is that is that moved them? Right, so have I not done that? Oh, par oh, all right, okay. Done. Why is it not doing anything? Right, okay, depower the stay sails by pressing T once. The stay sails is a longitudinal sails. Wait for the ship. Alright, so that's the stay sails. Alright, okay, so when I've done something like that, the ship slows down because the wind's basically passing through us. So essentially we're not catching the wind. That's quite clever. Right, let's see. Turn your yards more to max right position by pressing E and C. Increase negative wind pressure. All right, okay. So we're in reverse essentially. One, two, three, four, five. How could I mess up? Because I pressed the wrong bloody button, that's why. <laughs> Look after oh there we go there we go stop the ship by reducing sails to zero
Right, let's see. When points uh, at your bow, you're stuck. This tutorial will teach you how to get out of irons. <coughs> Set your yards perpendicular to the wind. Raise sails to full to gain negative speed. Double click A to fully turn your rudder to the left. Turn your ship to the right by 10 degrees. That's full left. Lower your stay sails by clicking T. Enable auto skipper by pressing F once. Set your rudder neutral by pressing D once. Point your ship at the objective using yards of rubber. Rubber? Rudder. <laughs> Stop. Come on, stop you bugger. There we go. Special maneuvers complete. <laughs> right, okay, so... I think that is a good place to stop the now. Uh, the video is probably going on a little bit longer than I was hoping. That was quite, quite tough, if I'm honest. Uh, considering I'm a complete novice, I've no idea about terminology or anything like that. But I found it interesting. So, yeah, we'll uh, carry this on. In the next video, I'm going to do the pursuit and capture. And then maybe have a look at an exam. We'll we'll have a look, see what uh, see what happens. Uh, but we'll do that in the next video. So obviously, guys and girls, thank you very much if you've got gotten this far. Like I say, I'm a complete novice when it comes to this game. So hopefully, you have had a good laugh at me and everything like that. Please do hit the like button. Uh, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Let me know in the comments and how terrible I've been. Like I say, I want to carry on with this little series. I think I think it's worth doing, and hopefully you guys will come along with the journey, and we'll see what happens. So until then, take care, stay safe, and all that good stuff. And most importantly, thank you very much for watching. Till next time. Bye for now.